Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and today we're going to do part one of a three-part series on regenerative medicine or proliferative therapy for orthopedic injuries. And in part one, we're going to talk about prolotherapy. This is specifically injecting ligaments, tendons, joints that are chronically injured with a hyperosmolar or a concentrated dextrose solution to induce healing. So when we think about a typical injury, be it a ligament strain or a torn muscle or a tendonitis, um, it is a inflammation of the tissues. The reason the body has inflammation is because it induces multiple processes that stimulate healing of the tissue. Uh, it's questioned whether giving anti-inflammatory medications, which definitely help for pain, uh, are actually inhibiting the natural healing response that is there and has been there for millennia. So when you have an injury, it creates inflammation, prostaglandins, other inflammatory mediators are summoned to the site, and this induces healing of the joint. And when you're 20, this happens wonderfully, and you tear or injure, and you go back to full function. Unfortunately, when you get older, you don't heal quite so well, and then your injury becomes a chronic inflammatory process, and at that point, inflammation causes pain. Prolotherapy, or injecting the ligaments, tendons, and joints in a very specific manner creates an irritation of the site and this induces a acute inflammation process, or think about it as a controlled injury, giving your body a second chance to go through the healing process. So we go in very specifically in the joint, and especially the ligaments and tendons around the joint, and inject this dextrose solution to create inflammation. You oftentimes have swelling and pain for several days after the injection, and this is actually good. Again, it's a controlled injury process. Over the next two to four weeks, this acute inflammation becomes acute healing process and starts you on the repair process. So um, oftentimes it's repeated several times in one month intervals, and each time you heal a little bit more of the injury. Uh, it is safe. It is very not exotic. Um, it may date back to the Roman uh, Empire where gladiators with sore shoulders were injected in the shoulder with hot needles and likely created a, an acute inflammatory process and aided them in healing. Um, it's been in the modern era since about the 1930s to 1950s. Um, unfortunately, insurance companies consider this experimental therapy because there are no large 10,000 patient trials because the materials that we use are relatively inexpensive. So there is no pharmacy that's going to back a $500 million double-blinded controlled study looking at prolotherapy because you can't patent the ingredients that we're injecting. So all of the studies are small individual. So one uh, group may do 30 or 50. Another institution may do 100 or 200 uh, patients in a study and show benefits, but there are no large 10,000 patient studies. So this likely uh, will always be considered an experimental uh, procedure and not covered by insurance. So uh, prolotherapy, very specifically part of this regenerative medicine um, concept of using the body's natural healing abilities to cure yourself uh, using hypertonic or extra concentrated dextrose solution. Uh, in part two, we're going to talk about PRP, platelet-rich plasma. In part three, we're going to talk about stem cell therapy, also useful in healing orthopedic issues. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.